quiet now. Nabubuhay na, slowly but surely, yung publisyon. People are coming back. But publisyon, before the pandemic, was known as a drinking place. Diba? Tayo, tayong dalawa. Nagiinuman tayo dito. Oh, nagsisigawan tayo. Malayo pa, nasa kabila kanto pa, nagsisigawan na tayo. But it's sort of changed. It's mellowed, right? What do you think you can do or contribute to the revival or the resurrection of publishing? Ikaw mismo. Well, first of all, Spanky, uh, a, a captain always stands on his ship. Even if it's gonna sink, he'll find a way for it to stay afloat. And our edge, we really started as a food-centered business. Exactly, exactly. And the, the drinks are just a bonus. Mm. And I created this uh, place for people to get together over a good meal and have a drink. It's not all about drinking for me. Yeah. Food for me is life. It brings people together. And that's that's what I live for, man. That, that, that brought us here, you know? Tell me about the food we're having now. Because I'm enjoying this. I've, I've been a fan of Mediterranean food, Middle Eastern food for my whole life, right? Now, we have stuff like falafel. What is this? And how is it Filipinized or is this super no, we, authentic? Or? We kept it authentic oh. with the Mediterranean things. Yeah. Uh, the falafel, it took countless trial and error. Crisp, yeah. Yeah. Crispy on the outside, yeah. moist a bit in the middle. Vegan right. steak, I call it. Vegan yeah. steak. What's this? What's inside? Uh, we got chickpeas, fresh potatoes, we boil it, then we saute it, cashew, uh -huh. cashew nuts. We make the dough, the dough that covers this up. It's very crispy. And that's what I love about Kite. Uh, people may think it's, oh, it's one of those hipster restaurants in Poblacion. But no, it's a legitimate restaurant that serves authentic Persian food. Ground chicken kebab. Yeah, so good, man. We have the spicy version also, but you can mix it with the grilled tomato and the garlic sauce. Ano mo swerte ka rin? Kasi initially, this was just a smoking area. Let, let's be honest. When you opened the veranda, it was really for people who were drinkers to have a place to yeah. smoke. But then again, because of our current situation now, everyone wants to go Al sit. fresco. Al fresco. Yeah. That's it, man. The open air was a, was a good opportunity for us to you know, shine during this pandemic because, as you said, even myself, I will go to other restaurants and I would like to eat outside. Yeah. Tell us about this because I like this. This is Paris served on a sizzling plate. Yeah, well, uh, the, it originated from a new flagship heritage dish, which is eight hours slow roasted USDA beef belly. Slow cook, man. Melt and then, in your mouth. And we said, what can we do with this slab? Puro na lang roast beef. Kasi ito, ito yung mga dulo. Ang tendon. Paras, tendon. Tendon, beef belly. And then we cook that three hours naman. So, this is high quality beef. I've been a fan of your food from Persia Grill to Kite for like, what, how many years? Eight years? Ten years? We're already 12 years in the business. Exactly. So, it's been a decade for me. But what I really appreciate and I really, really enjoy and respect is that the, the quality is as good as the first time I had it. Uh, I just have one final question. And I'm you're an inspirational, motivational speaker. You're very much in demand. But if you were to give one short piece of advice, or what's the one characteristic that a prospective restaurateur would need in life? Anong, anong number one? Well, I'm gonna say it like this. I'll give you the formula. Okay. Life equals the people you meet multiplied by the things you can create together because you can't do it alone. That's That's it. It. Oh my That's god. It. It's beautiful man. But I inspire you. Libre. Yan. Okay. Salamat. <laughs> <laughs>